Hey, it's Ryan here from Lexus of Edmonton, and we have a white on black Lexus ES350 to look at. This one's a brand new 2013 model year. So underneath the hood on this machine is a 3.5 liter V6 with a 268 horsepower and 248 pounds of torque while getting a fuel economy average of 8.3 liters per 100 kilometers, and that's a combined average between city and highway. So this model here is actually the technology package, so this is a fully loaded ES. It has every option that you can think of that we make for this vehicle. Uh, some of the, the package specific options are the blind spot assist, the clearance and backup sensors, the automatic high beam feature, dynamic radar cruise control that adjusts the traffic, and a pre-collision system, in addition to a whole slew of other features like a sunroof, a glass top roof, uh, the power seat, the heated seats, the heated and cooling front seats, the leather of course, navigation, backup camera, there's just a whole ton of stuff that we're going to go over a good amount of it in this video. So the rims, we have 18 inch premium alloy rims on this vehicle and it's sitting on Michelin all season tires. You have uh, power adjustable mirrors with the integrated turn signal light and they're also heated. So now we have touch to unlock on the doors. We're going to go inside. We're going to take a look at the interior now. So starting with the door panel, you see we have the three memory seat settings up here. We have the power locks and power windows down here. We have the power seat adjustment including lumbar support and back support. Down here on the lower left you have the trunk release, the hood release, the gas cap release, and the parking brake is down there. And on the side of the steering column you have the power steering adjustment, so you can uh, tilt the wheel more forward or backward or up or down. So I'm going to turn on the power in here and we can take a look at some of the screens and features. So starting with the steering wheel, you'll notice it's got the leather wrapping on a couple spots along with the wood grain inserts. You have the uh, audio controls on this side, and you have Bluetooth and voice command on this side, as well as your cruise control tucked down here. This is the main display screen for the unit. It's controlled with the Lexus remote touch system, which looks like this down here. Functions a lot like a mouse. Hand goes on it like that. Fingers move this part up here, and that controls the cursor on the screen. If I hit the menu button, we can see pretty much everything to do with the car pops up on here destination, information, setup, phone calibration, climate control, media and radio is all right here. If we move down a little bit further on the console you'll see the centerpiece of the vehicle, the analog Lexus clock. At nighttime it'll have the backlit LEDs as well. I'll turn those on and show you there. It's a little bit foggy from coming in from the cold but you get the idea. And then down here a little bit farther we have obviously the push button start. You have uh, some radio controls, shortcut keys to the radio and media screen. Down here you have climate controls, you have the dual control, so passenger and driver settings. And I'll also point out this button right here is your heated rear window defrost and the heated mirror defrost as well. A little bit further along we have the driver and passenger heated and cooling seats and this is also the heated steering wheel button. You have a couple different driving modes with this car, the economy mode, normal and sport. Sport mode with tap shift and you also have the leather wrap shift knob. There's a cup holder hiding right here, another one hiding back here. Inside the armrest, you have the auxiliary power outlet as well as the USB and auxiliary inputs for the stereo. So if you want to plug in your iPod or other portable media device, that's where it goes. You have a locking glove box on the passenger side as well as the passenger door controls and three passenger memory seat settings. Up top you have the dome light controls as well as the sunroof control. And behind the sunshades you have uh, the mirror when it opens up, the light comes on. When you close this, the light goes off. So now let's go uh, take a look at the rear seats and we'll demonstrate the power trunk for you in this vehicle. So I'll come around to the rear of the car here and you have the, uh, the trunk release inside the cabin obviously and you also have it on the remote so I'll press the remote, hold it down, pops open just like that now the ES is a bit of a larger sedan so you do have a good amount of room in the trunk here you just take a peek you also have some stuff wrapped up in the bag still most notably the carpet floor mats and the floor mat for the cargo area back here you also have the pass-through center seat in the rear seat, so that helps you uh, if you're going to go on a ski trip or anything else you might need to slide in there will work. 
You can always pull the hood down, the trunk down manually, or hit the button right there. As for the rear seats themselves, starting on the door panel, you basically just have the uh, window control here. You have the center seat that folds down, and you've got some cup holders right here. You have the flaps on the back of the front seats just to give you a little bit of space for a magazine or two. You also have the rubber floor mats. And it's a pretty roomy back seat. Plenty of space back here for any uh, for adult passengers that you'd have riding along. Now we're going to make our way back around to the front of the vehicle. And I'll just take a second to turn on the daytime running lights, the new LED array that we have. Give that a quick flick there. So you can see now we have the, the checkmark LED pattern on the lights for this car. So it's a very stylish, very signature kind of look. It also serves a bit of a safety purpose just for being visible. You have the fog light down here obviously and those little rings that you see are where the parking sensors are installed. They're also on the back of the car. If we step back a bit we can see that this is the new Lexus grill, the redesigned for the 2013 model year, the spindle grill. So just to quickly sum up, this is a fully loaded Lexus EX ES350, white on black, the technology package. It's got the 3.5 liter V6 engine in it, the 268 horsepower, 248 pounds of torque, and the fuel economy average is 8.3 liters per 100 kilometers. So if you have any more questions about this vehicle or you want to take it for a drive, see it in person, have a salesperson go through all the features of it for you and really, really make them earn their money, you know what I mean, uh, give us a call, book an appointment, 466-8300, or just drop on by 170th Street and 111th Ave, right next to the Tim Hortons, so it's very easy to find. If you're going to continue your online shopping today, please feel free to check out LexusOfEdmonton.ca if you haven't already. We have lots of our vehicles up with videos very similar to this one for just about every unit that we have on the lot. So you can really do a lot of online shopping uh, before you come in and really know what you want and what you're looking for. Uh, that's about it for this video. Thank you very much for sticking around through the whole thing. My name's Ryan Quick from Lexus of Edmonton, signing off. We'll see you next time.